you guys we need to have a serious talk it is 3 p.m and you might be like it looks like it's 7 p.m you no know, right it looks like it's 7 p.m it is foggy due to the fact that a hurricane is going to hit blocksburg in a couple of days which first of all this is my first hurricane alone hello um excuse me i'm not prepared at all i just moved into my new apartment complex my first apartment complex i'm only 18 years old never really i've never really went through a hurricane before this is my first ever hurricane so yeah you guys are gonna have to prepare with me i am actually scared because blocksburg is known to have a lot of hurricanes there's like thousands of videos of blocksburg hurricanes and i knew this was a risk but i didn't think it was gonna be this early on you know if that hurricane is strong enough, it could break my windows. Minding my own little business. And then out of nowhere on the news, it comes out that a hurricane is heading towards Blocksburg. And I was like, uh, excuse me? No. Tell that hurricane to turn around and go somewhere else. Because no. Let me show you guys what's on the news right now. Because it's literally all over the news. It's the headlines of news. So let me show you. Breaking news, citizens of Bloxburg. There will be a hurricane heading your way in about approximately one to two days. According to our experts, this hurricane is like no other. Hurricane Camilla is on her way and strong. High winds and high rain are expected as well as high floods. Please be prepared and follow the experts' guides and advice to be prepared. I forgot the lines. Hold on. Be prepared to go again. Uh, fight the hurricane. As you guys can see, green behind me. This is how the hurricane is moving so far. Hurricane Camilla is coming in strong and faster than ever before and ever expected. It's going to be one of the most powerful hurricanes that have ever hit Bloxburg in history. Please be prepared and stay safe. Do you guys see that? It's telling me that the hurricane is going to hit like in two days. We should probably start making our way to the store and start preparing because let, let me just show you how prepared I am. <laughs> wow, look at all of those ingredients. I have so much food and cans. Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to survive. Clearly, there was nothing in that. Yeah, let's go ahead and go get my keys from my room and make our way to the store. Store. I think I'm gonna hit Target first and then I'll go to the supermarket, which is a little bit more farther away. It's like a 40 minute drive. Let's stop. Let me stop rambling. Let's let's go to the store, you guys, before this hurricane comes and hits. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, so I have made it to Target. Now I have to try to find flashlights, sandbags, umbrellas, but I don't have any umbrellas in my new apartment, so I do need those either way. We need to find toilet paper, water bottles, canned food. So first things first, we do have some four flashlights. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some that don't require batteries, but I think all of them require batteries, so there's really no use in me trying to find some that don't have batteries. Anyways, we have the black one, the white one, the pink one, and the yellow one. I think you guys already know which one I'm gonna pick. Obviously the pink one. One. excuse me is that even a ex like is that even a question i'm gonna pick the pink one it was made for me mm -hmm. so i'm gonna add the pink one to the cart these are the sandbags they have they have two sandbags are you kidding me hey two sandbags or two sandbags um i'm gonna see okay i'm gonna take these two sandbags too so do have some umbrellas up here so i'm gonna take one umbrella one umbrella should be fine right hear me out you guys i know you might be like you're crazy amelia you would never no what are you thinking fire extinguishers i know i know you might be like uh, it's a hurricane there's literally that's no use water's gonna be everywhere i know i understand you're thinking but you gotta hear me out what happens if something catches on fire in my apartment and there's no firefighters that can come and help me because of the hurricane um they're both 150 dollars though it's 300 bucks already on just two fire extinguishers do i really want to waste that much money i'd rather invest into my life so now we need some power generators because the power can definitely go out and i still need my coffee hello want to know like the radio like i want to know what's going on i need to charge my phone just for some sort of emergency you never really know with the hurricane luckily there is two power generators here but they're so overly priced do you guys want to know how much these are these are the last two power generators there are and they're 700 dollars the ones next to them were 200 dollars since this is our only option i'd rather spend 700 dollars than be left with no cell phone no electricity no power no nothing to the point where no one can find these i'm gonna go ahead and spend 700 dollars that's over a thousand dollars already that i spent on just survival supplies rather be safe than sorry so if you look at these power generators they have a lot of outlets which is amazing i don't really think we need anything else from this aisle but you know what i do need to a mini fridge anything happens
happens, my food is still fresh with these power generators. Mm -hmm. They do have one last mini fridge. It's $500. Bro, why is everything so expensive? Honestly, hello. Oh my gosh. I did not think $3,000 were going to be coming out of my pocket today. This is how much toilet paper is left here. Um, I'm still going to go to another grocery store, but I am going to take two rows so I can leave three for other people because I also don't want to be greedy. Well, you look at that. There's so many more sandbags. I really thought I was going to go to the beach. Yes, I was that crazy to go to the beach. But what happens if one of my windows break? Hello, water could start leaking in so on the news i was hearing experts say that you should have a to-go bag like an emergency to-go bag just in case you gotta evacuate from your building as soon as possible so i'm going to be buying one of these to just put my essentials that i need like if my apartment building is going down i'm not going down with it hello and again is this really a question grabbing the pink one hello i look cute and fashionable you guys i need to go i need to find better fashion like after this hurricane i hope i can like invest into my fashion bro so i came to the grocery aisle to find some food and all of that you know there's only one cereal box two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches so i guess we're gonna be eating cereal peanut butter jelly sandwiches there's two egg cartons left and i'm gonna take one i only need one for myself it's fine bro there's one water bottle left oh my hopefully at the other grocery store they have so many more water bottles and totally and toilet the paper guess i'm just gonna have to take it i mean it's already there so i just finished shopping at target i got all of my supplies and now it's time to make our way to the next supermarket i got what i could get from here so i just hope that in the next one there's a lot of more stuff because bro i'm really like it's kind of hitting me now that i'm gonna go through a hurricane by myself for the first time ever in my first apartment growing up i gotta tell you okay let's go we cannot waste any time Okay, guys, so I finally made it to the grocery store, and let's try to find the things we need. We're not gonna, like, you know, grab everything, but we're just gonna find the things we need, like snack, food, water, canned food, you know. So this is a household section. We don't really need anything. Oh, you know, we do need candles, because what happens if the light goes out? We can just light up some candles. I think I'm gonna add, like, four candles in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I almost missed it, but there is some toilet paper. Let's take some. It looks like it's a pack of six. One pack should be enough for me. Let's continue. Oh my gosh, they have a bakery section. I'm obviously gonna take some bread. I'm gonna take some baguette, more bread. I'm taking every single bread here. Hello, I need it all. Even a cake, <laughs> cause why not? You know, celebrate. Ooh, 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 yes, definitely I'm gonna take some of these sandwiches, like pre-made sandwiches, cause if I put them in my mini fridge, they won't really be like, you know, old and stuff like that. What else can I take? Some frozen food. Six water bottles in total. So I'm gonna try to take as many as I can. There we go. These, <laughs> I only have six water bottles, bro. I don't know how I'm gonna make this last, but I'm gonna have to make it work. I really hope I can get some more water from somewhere else. I don't know where else to get water from. I think that's it, and I think I should check out for now. Oh, I got most of my stuff at Target, so this is really just for more food, you know? Oh my gosh, you guys, so it's finally like about to, it's about to be 9 p.m. You guys, I've been out for so long already. We started this like at 3 p.m. Anyways, besides the point, I got all my supplies. Oh my gosh, you guys, my neighbors are the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. I did find some water, but I didn't get to find a lot of water. Look what they gave me. Oh my god. They gave me two big gallon jars of water. They're like, hey, so we're trying to help some people out here in the apartment building. And we have two water jugs, and I'm like, absolutely thank you so much and they gave me two water jugs like oh my gosh now i actually have water that should last me like four days four days because but the experts are saying that the hurricane will only last around like you know two days it shouldn't be that big and expecting like high, like high winds and like a lot of um flash flood hard rain you know but for the most part i have everything i need my power generators my groceries toilet paper flashlights you know fire extinguishers all of these things my originally bought three sandbags but my, a fire department came by and they left a lot in the lobby and when i came in they're like oh grab some for yourself and we're like oh okay thank you so much i don't know people are just so helpful like the whole community is coming together and just helping each other and i love that so much but yeah you guys um i will keep you guys updated when this hurricane hits they don't know yet the hurricane seems to be moving a little quicker than expected so it could be probably tomorrow early in the morning or in the afternoon or tomorrow night if you guys are wondering what the hurricane is called the hurricane is called hurricane camilla 
so i really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video turn on your post notifications on so you don't miss you don't miss the next video for updates on the hurricane i really do hope you guys enjoyed it please consider subscribing it is totally free comment down below if it's your favorite part of today's video and yeah you guys are gonna experience my first i'm gonna experience my first ever hurricane oh my god they did tell us to like barricade our windows but they also did say that our windows are very very strong and are built for these types of things because it is in Bloxburg. i don't know what to expect let me know what you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think think will happen but anyways i'll see you guys next time i love you guys all so much remember i love you god love you so much and i cannot wait to see you in the next video oh, bye clouds